here I am sitting in front of Julia Charles Stowe. Uh, she bought it in the 60s with her home in South Provence. And here are pictures of her with it in her kitchen. And um, I met Julia because she sent me a fan letter in 1984 when my first Food Lover's Guide to Paris came out. And she said, I hope I get to meet you someday. Can you imagine? So I did meet her that fall and we became good friends. And every time she came, went, south to her house, which is south of ours, in Les on the Romaine, in the Vaucluse, she would stop and spend the night. And this went on for years, and we traveled together, we did lots of events together. Um, but I knew one day she was, she came down here, and I knew she was going down to close up her house. And I thought about her stove. My joke is, you know, having Julia Child's stove would be like having Freud's couch. So that night at dinner, I said, Julia, can I buy your stove? She said, no. And that's the way Julia was. There was no, she didn't think about it. She just said, no. And I was kind of relieved in a way because I thought, what am I going to do with it? And so I didn't know how well it worked and so on and so forth. And so she got up the next morning. She said, I changed my mind. You can have my stove if you replace it with a new one. We'll go to Darty and get a new stove. This is what we did. And this room was, there, we have a picture of her here um, before we redid it, calling it Julia's Kitchen, and she was opening oysters. Uh, this was actually kind of a bathroom in here. It's, you know, this is an old farmhouse. Anyway, um, so it's a La Cornu, and I'm told it's the last year that La Cornu made white stoves. After that, they were all black. I'm not sure that's historically correct, but that's what I heard. And um, so it, you know, when we installed it, it, you know, had its aging issues. And so I called the head of La Cornu, who I knew, and he said, oh, I said, do you have anybody who repairs the old stoves? He says, oh, yes, yes, he'll call you tomorrow. So the guy called me up and he said in French, he said, I will restore your stove to its youthful vigor. And I thought, wow, I'd like a pill for that. <laughs> anyway, so I do use it a lot. Um, more the top than the oven. The oven could use a more useful vigor. But this is just to show you one of our pieces that I love and we use on this stove a lot. It's called adobeier, and you probably know that adobe is usually um, most often a um, a beef stew or a lamb stew, and you cook it, it, you braise it, and braising is simply cooking something in a small amount of liquid, okay, just enough liquid to keep it from searing or seizing up. And so with the dobier, what you do, you've got your, your meat and your vegetables and liquid, usually a stock in here. And you put cold water or even ice cubes on top of here. And what it does, you don't have to lift, lift the lid, it condenses and, and makes the interior more humid. Smart, huh? Very smart. Anyway, it's a, uh, someday I won't be able to lift it anymore. I want to read you something from her memoir, My Life in France. And she talks about the last day that she used the stove. On our last day at La Pichune, which was the name of her home, we invited a group of friends over for dinner. I lit a match and turned on the four burner cuisinier. The stove made a dramatic poof noise when the gas lit, which scared everyone but made me smile. Then I cooked a bouffe en daube a la Provençale, a splendid braised pot roast with wine, tomatoes, and herbs to Provence. Yum! It was a jolly meal and a fitting way to close the curtain. Isn't that sweet? She was something else. So this is a photograph of Paul and Julia at my 40th birthday yesterday, of course. So. Paul wrote this most beautiful, beautiful note. What a pity that this marvelous house cannot talk to tell us in some special way about its charm, its living qualities, and must only be itself. Plus, of course, 
with no words, but it tells everyone who has lived in it, has used it, has touched its walls, and sends out its special quality and reflects by its magic. Thank you, thank you, Paul Child and Julia Child. Isn't that sweet, poetic?